Woof woof. Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and thank you for watching this video. So it's the start of the month and you know that can mean only one thing. You are watching Whale Watch. Is that ice cream van really going to do me dirty like that? Let's try that again. Woof woof. Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and thank you for checking out another video. So it's the start of the month and you know that can mean only one thing. You are watching Whale Watch. Whale Watch. This is a video that I do once a month where I take a recording of my screen and I sit down in front of the computer and I go through some of the books that I've noticed have been doing some weird things lately. So it might be the case that it looks like they're slowly going out of print, it might be the case that some have come back in stock and you may not be aware, or there might just be some good deals that I can hopefully help you to find. I know this series isn't for everybody and those people have already come on, disliked the video and already left, but this is just something to hopefully help you find some deals that you may not have been aware of and hopefully help you save some money in the long run. I'm not trying to promote any kind of bad spending habits or I'm not trying to create any kind of fear are missing out unnecessarily. I just want you guys to be able to find the books that you want, build your collection and not spend too much money. So it's been quite a weird month but what we're going to do is start with the independent books and one thing that we looked at last time was all of these alien books that now have the license to Marvel. The license has gone to there so these definitive editions that they brought out, the anniversary editions, once these go out of stock at the end of the year or out of print they're not coming back in print but what I heard is that the first two volumes have actually come back in print for like one last attempt to get these in whilst you still can so if these are books that you want they've been readily available since 2016 you don't want to do something like I did with the Colossal Conan and sleep on it and then the license gets taken away from them and you won't be able to find them again so there's that one that one I'm pointing at the screen and you can't even see what I'm really pointing at so we've got the volume one and volume two you've got the um, original comic series Alien vs Predator but the one that's really difficult to get and I said this last month but it's worth reiterating is this one the Predator the original comic series which is a beautiful book I can't lie but it might just be worth keeping an eye on it that might get a stealth reprint as well it makes sense if they're losing the license after this year to try and cash in as much as they could so i'd keep an eye on the predator book in particular i'm going to keep doing it every now and then just to see if i can hopefully find you a deal but going into some image books one that i noticed is getting weird in its stock levels is the revival series i should probably type in revival deluxe that would that would help but yeah so there's four of these i don't know too much about this series but it seems like all of them are steadily creeping out of stock and you may think well it says you know that there's six available from £21 but if you look they aren't actually available from like places that you actually know so if you look at new there's somewhere called Snowden Books I can't say I've ever used them before Amazon's got it quite cheap at the minute and that's where I'd recommend going I'm gonna leave a link in the description it's an affiliate link so it does actually help the channel if you go through and order anything from there and I can't see any of your details but when it gets to the point where book depository books etc speedy hen or anything like that don't have any of these in stock that's when I start to worry now with image it's weird and I've mentioned this a few times before but if you're new to the show it might be worth me just saying it again the way image works is that they've all created their own so the writers and artists have sort of the say over what goes back into print so with this revival series it's going to be the author Tim Seeley over here that will dictate whether or not this goes out of print or stays in print but with image it's always got that wild card factor that there's no real rhyme or reason to it but for me if this is something that you wanted it doesn't seem like a book that's really being talked about too much. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to end up blind buying this, aren't I? That's normally what tends to happen in these videos. But for me, if it was something that you wanted, I'd be looking at getting this sooner rather than later. Volume 1 and Volume 2 are quite nicely priced at the minute, so I'd recommend picking them up. Volume 3 is crept up, so it's only about, like, what's that, about 20%, 16% off. So Book Depository's got it, but again, at the same price. But then after that, you're paying over cover price for it. Never a good sign. And Volume 4 is the same. Internationally, it looks like it's not that much cheaper anywhere else, especially in the EU. Read Comics has Volume 4 quite cheap, so if that's one that you need, I'd recommend getting it from there. I'd recommend getting the other one as well, Volume 3, because with um, Read Comics, you do have to pay a postage price, but it doesn't increase the amount of books that you buy, so I'd recommend getting a few things from there. I do really like this website. They're, they're really helpful, especially if you need to email them. Another image book that when I first started collecting, like collecting properly, and especially when I was looking at the image books and stuff like that, this was one that was a massive whale. I didn't even know that this got a reprint. I don't know when it happened, but Godland Celestial Edition, it comes in three books, and I remember there just being book one and book two for a while. It's been out since 2007, but if you look, the only place that's actually got it in stock is Amazon right here. This M&M Media US, it seems like they've got good prices, but their postage 
it's ridiculous. If you're in the UK or the EU like me, that's not really a great price for you. And this Pro, I don't think they know what cover price for any book is because I've only ever seen them charge like double cover. So I wouldn't recommend buying it from there. But these books were whales at one point. So I was surprised that they got a reprint and that nobody really seemed to mention it at all. I'm not too familiar with it, but it's got a very Jack Kirby vibe to it. But Godland Celestial Edition book two seems to be, you know, 20% off at the minute. Don't really know what these were supposed to retail for or if they've ever really had a massive discount let's let's have a little look here wish i would have known back in february when it went down to 15 pound and um, but as you can see here it's averages about 27 pounds so at the minute it's cheaper than what the average of it is i'd recommend having a flick through with this i really like the art of it like i said big jack kirby vibes going on there and that was the lever Squeeching on the chair. I just did it again. So I'm not farting. So that's definitely another one that if you were interested in it Maybe you didn't realize there'd been a reprint jump on it now Especially whilst the prices are a bit weird and they don't have that many of the others in stock Another one that is counted as an omnibus even though it's in paperback But it's one that I know quite a few of you wanted was the irredeemable omnibus now it came out 23rd of July I'm still waiting for Amazon to even get copies of this to send one out to me But there are a few places here and there that do have this in stock So you've got stuff like book repository and for some reason they've got a new one for £40 and a new one for £44. Don't know what the difference is there but if you use this price comparison thing that I found called best-book-price.co.uk I've noticed that you can get it cheaper than that and this is one that I definitely recommend jumping on because if you know we're redeemable and you know the way that Boom Studios works they don't like keeping books in print. Look at the Power Rangers Deluxe Editions. Look at the Deluxe Editions for Irredeemable. It wasn't a book that they seemed intent on keeping in stock. So as you can see here, we've got Book Depository at the minute that says that they've got it for about £33. And yeah, it's only 11% off, but admittedly, it doesn't seem like many places are selling it for much cheaper. So with the Irredeemable Omnibus, it's a great story. I remember reading this and I had the Definitive Edition, I think that's what it's called, where it's basically an absolute edition. But they only did volume one of it, so I was waiting until it finished. But this is a book that like I said I can't see Boom Studios really keeping a good stock of it. It hasn't really had a good stock when it's made its way across here anyway. It looks like in the Amazon US you might be able to get that and like I said there'll be an affiliate link in the description down below. So the Irredeemable Omnibus if you want that I'd definitely put it on your radar this month. One that I get a few people messaging me about is this book series by Greg Rucker called Lazarus. So in particular it is the second collection so that's what they call the oversized hardcovers and as you can see for some reason it's just on stupid price i know it might feel like you need to panic buy and i have seen it in quite a few local comic shops so if you can get it and you want it i'd recommend doing so because you can never guarantee what's going to come back in print with it being that all the series isn't even collected in these collections yet i would recommend waiting because it's likely to be the case that they're going to reprint all of them for when that fourth volume eventually comes out that's very much an image practice they do tend to do that they like making sure that you can get the entire series at once so don't spend stupid amounts don't spend this 115 quid or whatever it dumb amount it was for a book that might get reprinted by the time a volume four comes out i'd hate for you to waste your money on that you can spend your money much more wisely so this isn't one of those books that you should really be you know paying hand over fist for like look it's annoying because back in december it was in stock quite available as well so please don't panic by Lazarus now there's two Dark Horse books in particular that I want to talk about and the first one is the um, Avatar Library edition so I've got an image that I was going to show you there and I'll probably put up on screen so um, this is like a sequel series to, to the animated show which I have still yet to watch so there's five I believe now you'll notice that Temporarily Out of Stock currently unavailable that one hasn't come out yet and it looks like the others aren't really available except for this one The Promise but if you'll notice this came out in 2013 and it seems like Dark Horse has been intent in keeping them in stock. So this screenshot that I'm also going to show you, I found it off I believe the Omnibus Collectors Group. Somebody actually messaged Dark Horse directly and said what is the deal with these and I'll read out their response directly. So they even said out of stock most likely all volumes will remain in print with new print runs already in the works following delays due to Covid closures. Which let's just be honest is actually great news because these are books that do look beautiful. I've seen them on people's shelves. I don't even watch this show but I'm tempted because of how nice these deluxe editions are so don't panic buy any of these if it is that you can't readily get them available dark horse himself 
have even confirmed that it is going to be the case that these eventually will come back in print. Another one that I want to talk to you all about is this one, Big Damn Sin City. Now I'm struggling to find the screenshot that I saw of it. I actually saw somebody post up another screenshot that they had with a conversation with Dark Horse directly where they asked what is the deal with Big Damn Sin City and they said that another printing is due to come out. It's just been delayed due to all these COVID closures that have affected it. So you'll see right now you can only buy one new for £350 from Amazon.co.uk. Like if you're going to buy that, please just shoot me affiliate link so you know you can help your boy out a little bit there. But yeah, it seems to be the case that this is going to come back as well. And it makes sense because it's such a big seller. Now it seems to be the case that when this is available, nobody wants to buy it, but then it goes stupid out of print really quickly and everybody suddenly wants it. If it is going to be the case that this comes back in print, now I'll keep checking on it as well. Follow me on Instagram so that as soon as it does come back in print, I can make you all aware of that. But if it does become the case that this comes back in print, Please don't sleep on this for the umpteenth occasion because you don't want it to be the case that you won't be able to get it again in future. Now, something that's exciting for me as well came directly from the newsletter of Ed Brubaker himself. So as a lot of you know, Fatal Deluxe Edition, volume two seems to be readily available. It's volume one that's difficult to get. But there was a question that was sent to um, Ed Brubaker and they were asking why, you know, like Cruel Summer isn't included in Criminal Deluxe Edition volume three and where the Deluxe Editions of volume one and two are. All very good questions and questions that I had as well but if you noticed here he says the pandemic shutdown sadly made it due too much of a stress to print three giant hardbacks at the same time so the new editions volume one and two with new covers by Sean will be out by the spring of next year assuming there is a spring of next year let's just gloss over that and try and keep this a bit happy but for now that's the plan same with the first Fatal Deluxe edition it's also in the pipeline so I don't think you need some kind of like doctorate in English to understand that there has been plans to put the first deluxe edition of Fatal back in print. What this means for me is that Fatal Volume 1, I mean Volume 2, I'm really good at this at the minute, am I? It's been a long day from work. I'm so tired, so I hope you guys are liking this video. But Fatal Deluxe Edition Volume 2, this might creep out of print because you know Sod's Law. I don't know if Sod's Law is anything that people outside of the UK know. It's also like the action that you take will also be the action that leads to the consequence that you don't want. So for example, waiting on Volume 2 because you're waiting for a reprint of volume one will probably result in volume one coming in stock and volume two going out of print you know it's likely to happen it might be the case that they've got plans for both volumes to get a second printing but it didn't seem that way from the um, newsletter so i would recommend if you really want to get fatal especially if it is that volume one's going to come back and print which it sounds like they've got those plans to do that. I'd recommend jumping on volume two whilst you still can. Speaking of which, one that I think might go into stealth whale territory is this one right here, Cruel Summer. Now I know it only just came out, but the thing is because it's not labeled as like criminal Cruel Summer, often what can happen is that people overlook this book and don't really understand what it is and that it's part of the criminal series. It might be the case that this has a small print run as well because it's not something that's probably gonna sell just off the title alone. Like yeah, every Baker and Sean Phillips fans might buy but it's not going to be something that they think might have legs and staying power because of the fact that it hasn't got that criminal name directly attached to the front cover so for me I'd rather play it safe than sorry and I'd be picking up Cruel Summer this month because of the fact that that volume 3 is coming out it's probably going to be the case that the print run is going to be smaller for Cruel Summer than it is for Criminal Volume 3 I normally say this at the beginning of the video and I might as well say it now I don't have any kind of insider knowledge I'm not trying to act like I've got all this brain power and understand so many things that I actually Actually don't like I don't want you to think that's the case I'm just one fan trying to help all you guys out and hopefully save you some money so when I say that the print one for this is likely to be smaller I've got no kind of proof of that it's just my kind of surmising of it because of the fact that this isn't really a big selling title in the same way that criminal is like just be honest with yourself so cruel summer for me if it is that you want the complete criminal run that's one that I'd definitely be picking up in time for this volume three you know kill or be killed kind of did the same thing and this one here, that's the one I was exactly looking for. This one, Velvet, I'm not really too sure if this is going to go the same way. But the minute, it seems like it's got quite a decent price, 34% off. So maybe you're wanting to fill out your um, Ed Brubaker section. Yeah, this one is 
is um, drawn by Steve Eptin, so it's the same creative team as Captain America. But if this is one that you wanted as well, I've noticed the price fluctuating quite a bit on this, but it is still quite in stock. Just for the fact that it's Ed Brubaker, I definitely recommend picking that up. Now, we're going to be moving on to the DC books. And what I'm going to start with is a weird sale that hopefully is still ongoing by the time that this video actually comes out. Now, Zavi is a UK site. I know they do post to the EU, but they had like a random sale on a lot of random oversized hard covers. If you've watched my recent haul, you might know from there. So one of them in particular was JLA Year One. £10, great deal. Another one was Batman Face to Face. £10, great deal. Another one by the late Darwin Cook is Batman Ego and Other Tales, the deluxe edition. You might be thinking that all these books aren't for you, but I'm going to show you why in a moment. If you go onto Amazon and you look up any of these books, you will notice that they are quite out of print. So the deluxe edition, you know, start used at 30 quid, new at 40 quid. Batman face to face, again, no stock at the minute, but admittedly, it still is a better deal at Zavi. Some of these might have even brought them from Zavi and be putting them at an increased price. So Batman Ego is another one, you know, starting new 24 quid. So you can make a good saving and build up your deluxe editions because deluxe editions are the ones that tend to go out of print and become a whale because people just overlook them because of the fact they don't have omnibus on a title. I don't want that to be the case for you. So if you want any of those books, I'd recommend checking out Zavi. But speaking of Batman, one of his omnibuses that I noticed was going a bit sketchy is this one right here, Batman Eternal. Nobody really knows what this omnibus really is because of the fact that it's new 52, it's Scott Snyder, but it's not the Batman New 52 by Scott Snyder. It seemed to be a side series. It ran for 52 issues, and this seems to be the complete set here. It's steadily crept up in price everywhere. Like Amazon Germany is one of the only places that seems to have it. Only got one left in stock. Let's have a look at cheap books for you guys. Not really holding its stock in many other places. Let's have a look at cheap comics. The omnibus is full price there, so this might be the case that this already is a whale, in which case I probably should have done it. A few months ago, I'm not going to lie, but at the same time, you can still get it for at least undercover from some of the other Amazon outlets. See, it's not available at um, Read Comics either, unfortunately, and these are quite a good barometer of if they're going to get the book back. So if this was one that you really wanted, maybe you were waiting on it to go a bit cheaper. Might not be the case. It might be that this is on its way out because it's not the more popular Batman run, especially not the more popular Batman run set in the New 52 written by Scott Snyder. Another one that was on one of the very first episodes of Whale Watch was He-Man and the Masters of the universe omnibus now it seems like we've got a second wind of these and the reason why i'm pointing this out is because if you really wanted this book you can get it from books etc for 67 pound which in the uk is effectively half price if you go onto their website directly you can actually get it for 51 percent off which is a massive saving and less than i paid for it now tip you aren't going to find it if you type in He-Man Omnibus. You'll literally have to type in Masters of the Universe Omnibus and that's the only way it's going to show up on books, etc. So that's a good tip for you so that you can hopefully save some money on this beautiful, beautiful book. Like, if you wanted this, don't sleep on it, even if it's not going to go out of print. It's just a great book. But another one that I wanted to bring to your attention, and it's another one that might be a sleeper whale, is the Batman 66 Omnibus. Now, as you can see, there's not many stock of it here, there and everywhere. It actually looks like it's only Amazon that's going for undercover at the minute. So let's have a look at the other Amazons because this is another book that's just beautiful. The cheapest is at Amazon Spain where it's new enough. Well, for us, it works out quite cheap. Um, so you can get it from Amazon Spain still. If you need a link, just give me a shout and I will um, get one across to you. See, it's full price at Cheap Comics and I'm struggling to really find it on Read Comics. Let's have a see if there's any like outlets that I might not have been aware of that might actually have this. See, Luke, Book Depository, dispatched in 10 working days. That to me says that they don't actually have it. If they had it, why would it take 10 working days to dispatch? So if that's a book that you wanted, maybe you're a fan of Adam West, like, you know, you pretty much should be. Definitely one that I'd recommend jumping on. Another one that I know is controversial and I know not a lot of people want this, but if you did want it, I'd rather tell you so that you have a chance to still buy. That is the before Watchmen Omnibus. Now, if you look, it, the cheapest place is at Amazon for £81 and they've only got seven left in stock. That's only 19% off. But I do believe it was Amazon Italy that had this 45%. Yeah, so Amazon Italy does currently have this for 45% off. They've only got eight available though. So this is another one of those books that if you wanted it, it might be the case that this is slowly phasing out of print. It might be the case that as well with the TV show, it might come back in stock, but Cheap Comics has it for full price and it's completely out of stock at Read Comics. They're not even taking pre-orders for any future inventory, which is a little bit worrying to me. So 
if the before Watchmen omnibus was another one that you wanted like I'm planning on reading Watchmen again I was halfway through before Set Remender started it's going to be the case that I'm going to read Watchmen and then I'm going to read the prologue all in one go to see if it actually does enhance it because I know not a lot of people like this but I remember liking the Darwin Cook story and I want to see if it's aged better now that the kind of the shock of it's all gone we've had stuff like Doomsday Clock maybe it's something that I'll enjoy now so I'm looking forward to reading that. It is something that I brought for next month. This is another one that you're just gonna have to follow me chain of thought here. The DC 1 million omnibus. It seems like it's still quite healthily in stock, which is always a good sign, you know, you can get it. So it's about 80 quid. Actually, that's not that great of a price. If you're in Canada, you've got the cheapest price. Looks like it's pretty much half off. But this was last on sale on cheap comics. That to me says it might have actually gone out of stock, but it was on sale there for a brief moment. So the DC 1 million omnibus, the reason why I think this might go out of print is because of the upcoming JLA by Grant Morrison omnibus. Now this was a pretty much JLA event that was written by Grant Morrison. So the fact that that omnibus comes out might actually boost this into being out of print because more people actually want it. I don't even know what that website was that I was just on. I was just trying to have a look. But this is one that if you do want it, I'd recommend jumping on it because of the fact that, like I said, that JLA by Grant Morrison omnibus, this has been available since 2013. So it might be the case that they're getting that out the door. It didn't really sell too well as far as I remember. I don't hear anyone really talking about it. So this might be your final call on that one if it is that you want it. This one just confuses me for many, many reasons. But the Animal Man by Grant Morrison Deluxe Edition is currently full price on Amazon UK. It's around about the same price here, there and everywhere. And when a book starts to just creep up to cover price and just stays there, that's quite a worrying sign for me. And the reason why I'm a little bit worried is because of the fact that they were so determined to not print this second volume. So it seems like they only really want to do the bare minimum for this series even though it's Grant Morrison, even though it's Animal Man, and it's quite an acclaimed run. They don't really seem to want to do a lot of work with this series, so I think this might be a book that the Volume 2 coming out literally this month might actually push the Volume 1 to be out of print. So if it is that you missed out on the Omnibus and you're waiting for both of the volumes, I recommend not waiting, getting this Volume 1 now so that you can hopefully have both of them if it is that DC don't cancel this. Who knows, you might be like me, you might wait until DC confirms that the second volume's coming before you actually take that plunge but it might be the case that you don't get that opportunity and you might just need to buy this now like i know it makes sense and when i talk about image i'm always like oh when a second volume comes out they tend to reprint all the others but it might be the case that dc isn't the same because they don't tend to have a lot of logic with the decisions that they make so i definitely recommend buying volume one if it is that you haven't already got it in time for this volume two just to save yourself the misery now the last dc book that we're going to talk about is one that i noticed was steadily creeping out of print and then it just disappeared in the blink of an eye. So this is the Wonder Woman by Gail Simone Omnibus and it only came out in March. Now I've heard rumblings that this didn't get that big of a print run and it isn't looking like there's going to be any follow-ups especially with everything that happened but literally last week this was available at pretty much all your Amazons and now it's just completely disappeared. There's still some people selling it on eBay. I know obviously you've got to sort of you know buy your chances and stuff like that with eBay but you can still get it for undercover there. Read Comics might have one of these. No, can't get it from there either. And it doesn't look like it's available at Cheap Comics either. So it's a bit worrying that is that a book can go out of print that quickly. But if the Wonder Woman by Gail Simone Omnibus was one that you wanted, I reckon with the upcoming movie, comic shops might have brought quite a few of these in. So you might be able to find it out in the wild if it is that you don't want to take your chances with eBay. But that is definitely a book that I think you need to act on sooner rather than later because I've heard rumblings that it's not going to get another into anything like that so if it was something you really wanted it's better to just not miss out on it and pay cover it rather than you know think there's going to be a reprint and then one never comes now we're going to be going into the marvel books and the first thing that we like to do with the marvel books is do our chi check which is the bit of the video where we check on our boy shang chi because as you know these volumes seem to be only getting one print and they seem to be creeping out of print here there and everywhere so you can get one from that stupid place that charges stupid postage now you can't get one for cover on amazon uk let's have a see if any of the internationals have got one for you so you might be able to try your luck with something like a third party seller on amazon germany no it's the same place but you can get volumes three two and four they're still in stock at amazon uk if you remember correctly read comics said that they were getting some back in stock on the last episode let's see if they did no ah oh, no didn't get any of them and i sounded completely like emperor palpatine right then let's have a see if cheap comics has got it. you can't comfortably buy them all for that price so it seems like shang chi is going into that out of print territory again 
it doesn't look like you're going to have much time if it is that you want any of these books so jump on them as soon as you can deadly ends of kung fu still on sale at cheap comics so it might be worth picking them up if you wanted the complete shang chi yeah you can get it for a decent price on amazon uk is that gonna be yeah i thought it would be i'm losing my voice because it's been such a long day guys so apologize um in advance like i said now that i'm back not working from home it's a bit difficult to get stuff filmed but i didn't want to let you guys down and hopefully I'm praying this video hasn't. But yeah, it looks like Deadly Ends of Kung Fu Volume 1 and Shang-Chi Volume 1 are the two that you should be buying as quick as you can if it is that you want those books. Now, another one that I saw a deal on Read Comics. I'll be honest, I don't know if anybody even wants this book, but this is the Ultimate Marvel Omnibus. If you're a completionist, these have such a good sale on it at the moment where it's at £40. All it collects is like the first arc of each ultimate series i don't really know who wants to buy that but if it's you you can get a good deal on it it might even be the case All right, it does look like it's sort of out of print but not really because yeah you can still get it for a decent price so if that's something that you want there's a sale on read comics have at it because it doesn't look like there's going to be much competition for you and i feel kind of bad bringing this one up because i mentioned in the last episode of whale watch that this is one that you shouldn't worry about but then it seems to have crept up again now with she hulk i don't know if I can't remember if the Uncanny Omar said that this is going to get a second batch, but it seems to be the case that it's creeping out of print. Your cheapest bet is here at Amazon US, where it's about 31% off, comes out to about 65 quid according to Keeper. I'm not sure what its currency conversion rates like, but if this is a book that you wanted, I don't really know the likelihood of this getting a reprint, especially with them only reprinting Fantastic Four by John Byrne Volume 1. Bit worrying to me, so it seems like they're not intent on reprinting much of his stuff. I kind of need that Avengers by John Byrne Omnibus, so I'm kind of at a limb as well. If it's that you wanted this She-Hulk run, sooner rather than later, that's kind of the message here. You can get it a bit cheaper at Read Comics. It's still quite close to that cover price, so that's one that I would definitely recommend jumping on. Um, it's a great book, but you're probably going to get the flat spine, so if that's something that really bugs you, that's something you're probably going to have to live with, unfortunately. And this is one that you might have been panicking because it seemed like it was creeping out of print here, there and everywhere. I also thought it was, if I'm being completely honest with you, but the Spider-Man by David Michelini and Eric Larson Omnibus seems to have come back in print. It got like a stealth printing. So this is one that you can readily get. So if it was that you were disappointed when it looked like it was out of stock everywhere, cheapest price is currently on Amazon.co.uk. It looks like we've got a sales that might be Found it for a little bit cheaper. Let's have a look for you guys. Yeah, Speedy Hens got it in stock. They're quite a reputable place that I'd recommend. They've got their own website and it might even be cheaper if you go on there directly. Hell, if you've got this far into the video, I am more than happy to look and see if that book is any cheaper for you guys. But don't think that I'm turning into a nice guy. That's weird. It's even more expensive for some reason on their website. But that's quite a decent price for the Ben Riley on the bus, which is one that I need. So I might pre-order that. We've actually got a few Spider-Man omnibuses to talk about. And one that I want to make you aware of, because you might not be aware they actually went out of print, but there is the um, reprint of The Amazing Spider-Man, the Stan Lee stuff, um, Volume 2 coming out early next year. So it's likely that Volume 3 is probably going to get one as well. But for some reason, The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, even though it only got a reprint last year, just seems to have disappeared out of print, unfortunately. Now, when was it last in stock? So we're looking at about April, it was available there. It was about 58 quid and then just completely disappeared, which, not gonna lie, that's quite unusual. But yeah, it's a shame because I didn't even realize that that had gone out of print and you might have been the same if you felt that, you know, it was worthless getting it when there wasn't a volume two and three. This is what I've been warning you. Sometimes you can announce a reprint of a later volume and an earlier volume just goes out of print, but you might, might just be able to get this from a local comic shop. These volumes are always hoping they'll sell, so they do tend to buy them. It's not been that long since it came out so i'd recommend having a look around your comic shops might even be worth calling one or two with this pandemic they tend to be quite open to posting it to you even though they're quite weighty books but that's one that if you were waiting on those later volumes seems like you might have missed your chance with spider-man volume one so good luck hunting for it in the wild i remember mentioning this in i think it was the first whale watch but the spider-man by ben riley omnibus volume one i remember saying that with a volume two coming out it might be the case that volume one goes out of print Bam, it's happened. I warned you guys this had happened. 
you know, I know I've been wrong about 99% of the time, but this is the one time that I've been right. So I'm just going to enjoy this moment. Not for you guys, obviously. Sorry that you have to miss out. Yeah, Amazon Italy says they're going to get it back in stock. Don't believe that for a second. It's not even close to the top of the list. That's never a good sign. Yeah, it's got that purple button. That's always the warning sign for me. So the Spider-Man by Ben Riley Omnibus, if you wanted that, it seems like your chance has kind of gone for getting it for a decent price. But some people have been selling these. I've noticed that quite a bit recently, especially with the volume two coming out some people might realize that they don't want that investment so they might end up selling this book you might just be able to drop on it but you never know it might be the case that they do a stealth reprint but from what i can see it doesn't seem to be the case unfortunately now i mentioned it earlier and i know it's a bit of a sore subject because it's really weird that marvel even did this but the price of the fantastic four by john Byrne omnibus has been creeping up and up here there and everywhere now there's been a few places that do still have it and i know it's a bit difficult because they never reprinted that volume too but if it is that you wanted this book look it looks like all the amazons are steadily creeping up in price i did just see that read comics had this for about 75 pound i believe yeah 75 pound and they've got it readily in stock which is pretty decent the thing is though that's a book that it might be the same case again they might reprint volume two because of the success of the she-hulk omnibus i don't know and then it might be the case that volume one you can't get that one so it's always best to have a book and eventually have to try and sell it than to need a book and not be able to find it and buy it anywhere and another one that i'm concerned about is the silver age fantastic four omnibus now it got another printing around the same time as the um, amazing spider-man omnibus it's quite cheap at the moment if you're into silver age kind of things you know there's a few reputable places that have this but this could be another Another one that you might miss out on this waiting on those later volumes you never know marvel might even announce a volume four so you might miss out on this if you want your complete fantastic four run but it might be the case it goes out of print and i'd hate for that to happen for you guys i'm not really too bothered about the silver age stuff but this video series isn't about me it's about you guys so if that's one that you wanted jump on it now rather than later well whilst we're here another one that i think is going a little bit sketchy when it's still quite readily available is the fantastic four by mark wade omnibus now like i said you can get it from a few places quite reputable but it seems like the stock's shortening here there and everywhere you know look it's going up on your amazons and stuff like that and this is a great very underrated run it's been out for nearly two years now that's when it starts getting into that warning territory but because it hasn't really had that buzz about it unfortunately it might be the case that this also just disappears from sight it might even be the case that like me you forgot this book even existed it's a great very underrated run so i'd hate for it to be the case that you don't buy it goes out of print and then you can't find it anywhere because not that many people bought it to begin with but the next one that we're going to talk about is one that i mentioned on the first episode and it's the ven omnibus now there's a third volume coming out Volume 2 is available from Reed Comics, but the Ven Omnibus seems to have just disappeared, unfortunately. It's been out for over two years now, which is when it's in that warning zone. Ah, okay, so you can just about get it from Book Depository for a reasonable price, undercover price, but it seems like not many other places have got it. I remember this being on sale on um, Cheap Comics a few months ago. Let's just have a see if it's still the case or if they've got it. They've only got Volume 2, so if you were waiting for Volume 3 to buy all your Ven Omnibuses, might be the case that you don't have the option to do that, I'm afraid. If I was Marvel, which, as you can tell, I'm not, I would be putting both of them back in print in time for Volume 3. But you never know. I don't know if these Ven Omnibuses really sold that well that they can have confidence to bring it out again. Because it came out at the time of the movie and it still didn't really sell out. So for me, if you want them, they're not really up my alley. But if you want them, I definitely recommend jumping on them, which kind of becoming the catchphrase of this series i just keep saying i definitely recommend jumping on them another omnibus that wasn't really up my alley but it might be up yours is the heroes reborn omnibus do you remember earlier when i said that this book is most likely to go out of print because the second volume's coming out well it looks like that is the case you can only get it from amazon canada unfortunately and this is one of those weird books that it didn't really have a lot of buzz so i don't really know if they're going to be too intent on spending more money to get this reprinted yeah you've got the purple button there which is never a good sign and they don't even have ah okay so it does say it's out of print on cheap comics this was a hefty book as well so if it is available at your comic shop you definitely can't miss it like it's, it's a real heifer if you get what i'm saying it's a very rubenesque book but if you were hoping to get both volumes at the same time 
that might not be as viable of an option as you think now like it's this month that the other one's coming out i feel like if they were going to bring this back out so that you could get volume two at the same time they would have done it by now it normally comes out a few weeks before and that just doesn't seem to have been the case unfortunately and this proves that i'm not completely stupid and sometimes i am right with my guesses moving on to the next one though and this was one that was suggested by my boy the comic board um, please check him out on facebook he's a great dude and hopefully soon i will be joining him for a video so get hyped for that it's the daredevil shadowland omnibus now daredevil omnibuses as we know from the past can tend to just jump out of print this one is sort of the most forgotten daredevil omnibus if i'm being honest like besides this and the silver age nobody really tends to talk about this one in particular but you can see that all the amazons have pretty much got it for full price but if i remember correctly last time i checked on here they had this at sale so so if you look here it says out of print but you can still get it for undercover price i would definitely recommend jumping on this if it was one that you wanted because shadowland was such a weird event that people either loved it or hated it might not be for you so you might want to read into it a little bit before if you like your kind of heroes going bad kind of storyline definitely for you but for me if you want to complete your daredevil collection at some point you need this one and it might be the case that it doesn't get a reprint because it's not really talked about but big shout out to the comic board for mentioning that one and submitting that and um, for this month's whale watch go check out his video and subscribe as a way of saying thank you and tell him that the mad dog sent you now one that i mentioned in my instagram story which is another great reason why you should be following me is the incredible hulk omnibus now i know the uncanny omar has said that this has gone out of print and there's plans for future volumes so you don't want to miss out um, on the first volume now amazon spain had it quite yes amazon spain still got it for 38 percent off this is an out of print book so please just buy if it is what you want because if it's out of print and those future volumes come out you might not be able to jump on this it might not be a reprint for ages so you can get it for 38 percent off i'm going to leave a link directly in the description for this book in particular um so please just make sure you don't miss out on this because i imagine it's going to be a great run when it's all collected in omnibus see look it's purple button on read comics and i'm assuming it might be the same, although they don't do purple buttons, if you go to cheap comics. They've still got the Planet Hulk on the bus. Yeah, look, it's out of print there. So that's one that I definitely recommend picking up because you don't want to miss out on those future volumes as well. Now, the last book that we're going to mention this month is one that I think a lot of you might be disappointed to see go out of print. It's been in print for quite a while, but it's The Guardians of the Galaxy by Abnet and Lanny. I've noticed that this is just disappearing here, there and everywhere. So there's no real majority places that sell it except for book depository. You've only got one left in stock at Amazon UK. It's cheap at Amazon Canada, but if you're in the EU, that might not be great to get your ship to cross, unfortunately. But for me, I think a lot of people got so built up in the fact that, you know, you can get all the story in the War of the Kings omnibuses, which are out of print as well, that they forgot that they could just get this one if they wanted it. This is another one as well, Guardians of the Galaxy by Jerry Dugan. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. That seems to have just disappeared as well, but it's quite a thin omnibus. But as you can see, Read Comics doesn't have it at all. You see, it says it's out of print at Cheap Comics and they've got it at sale. So this, for me, if it was a book that you really wanted, I'd recommend buying this and I'd recommend buying it this month because we don't know how much more likes they've got on this. We don't know what's going to happen with that third film. I haven't really heard anything about it lately. So if it is that you wanted any of these Guardians of the Galaxy on the buses, it seems like they are on their way out. Like I was tempted to get this one, but it seems like they haven't done a volume two at all and they've got no plans of doing it. So I don't know if anybody's got any hints on what's happening there. But here we go, the Jerry Dugan Omnibus. Again, Amazon Canada, maybe you can get both of them at once um, and save yourself some shipping. But it looks like it's pretty much cover price over there. And this didn't have that many pages. Yeah, 408 pages, so it's not that big of an omnibus either. But those are all the books that I've got for this month's Whale Watch. And I'm hoping that there's something here that might be able to help you. It seems like a lot of the stuff that I'm saying does actually tend to be right. And a lot of you keep messaging me and just saying like, you know, I've saved you so much money. You didn't buy a book that was out of print because you were waiting for like the East of West Year 2 reprint and just stuff like that. And, you know, it really makes me happy because with this series, I'm just going to have a moment talk to you here at the end most people who dislike the video have already disliked and left so this is just for like the real viewers of this video this is for the true mad dogs this series has been such a passion project for me and i know that from episode one it got some hate people saying like i don't know what i'm talking about and that you know i'm just wasting people's money i'm driving up fewer missing out but this video series is entirely for you guys because i've been a collector for over 10 years now and i hate nothing more than when i could have got a book I saw all the signs that it was going out of print and I just didn't take it. And there's books that I really, really wanted, like the Silver Surfer Omnibus, that if there was a series like this, I would have loved 
because then it would have helped me save so much money and get the books that I actually wanted. I'm hoping it's the same for you guys and like I said it's just so nice when I get messages from you saying that you know you brought this book because you worried that it was going to go out of stock or you didn't realize that it was something that was disappearing slowly or you might have just forgot that it existed and that's the entire point of this video series. It's been entirely a passion project because for me Anybody can watch a haul, anybody in the comic community can enjoy that, but for people to get so behind whale watching, you know, to help it craft the identity of this channel, it's just so good for me, like, I don't really know what I was doing with this YouTube channel, and I know the Mad Dog's all about going for whatever you want, no matter how you're feeling, but I never really had a lot of confidence that I could do anything on YouTube, especially on the comic side of it, I didn't think I'd... I'd have a place, I didn't think there'd be a purpose behind me doing it. Like I said, I know this channel's got some hate, I know there's people who instantly dislike the videos and, you know, my boy SCC told me that that's when you know that you're doing something right and I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. I hope you keep supporting the channel and I keep bringing content that you guys like. I never really want to waste your time. You might be thinking I'm wasting your time now with this monologue, but I'm always going to be thankful for you guys supporting the channel. I'm always going to be thankful for the fact that you've allowed Whale Watch to become this series that I look forward to doing and you guys look forward to watching. Like. It's just so good to me, like, I hope it's something I can continue for a while. I'm hoping it's something that continues to help you guys, like, it's a lot of work to check throughout the month to see if these books are going to be um, going out of print or not. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now because I'm really hungry, I'm really tired, and my brain doesn't fully know what I'm saying. I just really wanted to make sure Whale Watch got out to you um, and that I didn't let any of you down. If you do like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. It does really help. I know a lot of people just straight away dislike. I've kind of got to that stage now where it's like, you know what, I can't win everybody over. As long as some people like it, that's what matters. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do and click that bell notification. I'm going to announce soon what the plan is if I ever do reach a thousand subscribers I've got something that will hopefully excite you all but make sure you click that subscribe button else it's never gonna happen please share this video in any groups like I said I'm really trying to get the momentum building for each episode of Whale Watch so that we can all help each other thank you to everybody who suggests something as well if you have noticed a book that might be creeping out of print that maybe I didn't mention put it in the comment section below let's help everybody out check out some of the links I'm always making sure that I post as much comic content on there as I can if you do want to help support the channel it is greatly appreciated because I'm not gonna ask for Patreon or anything like that. I don't think I offer enough to ask for your money directly, but I'd also ask is that you treat yourself to a book and just use one of the Amazon affiliate links down below. If you buy anything, even if you buy like, you know, some weird stuff, like I can't see what you've brought or anything like that or any of your personal details and it doesn't affect the price. It does just help the channel because I really want to upgrade the camera so that the quality of it can get even better for you guys. And I've obviously already brought this new Mac, which wasn't cheap. So if you do want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. But like I said, just thank you for supporting in this channel I haven't even been doing this six months and I already just look forward to doing this video for you guys and you know hearing all the feedback that I get and you know laughing at all the people who hate on it and um, it's quite funny but yeah thank you just from the bottom of my heart for supporting me video on video I'm just hoping I can continue to bring you guys videos that you enjoy because I never want to take you guys for granted and think that I can just put out anything and you're gonna watch it because I know YouTube's a fickle game and if I do a few steps wrong like I'm gonna lose that trust that I've built with you guys and I want to be a reputable source within the comic book YouTube scene but it does really just make my days worth doing just so I can come home and edit some videos for you guys and hopefully you'll like what I've got in store for the rest of this week. But until then, make sure that you stay safe, keep reading and keep barking all you mad dogs and I'll see you at the next video.